This video is on the topic of being here or away. Number two. So, based on the, the first essential of mindfulness, one has a clear area of engagement in mind. It can be a, a project externally or a, an area of thought or meditation and mindfulness internally but you're clear about what that field or sphere or area of engagement is. And uh, you, you do what you can to clear extraneous uh, thoughts or uh, interferences in any way, practically and mentally, that will detract from you being involved in that uh, field of engagement then you start to actually come quite clearly and consciously, you train yourself to come into uh, the physicality of experience, your whole sense of your body uh, in relationship to uh, your sphere of engagement, uh, your mood, your emotions, uh, how you feel about it, your interest in it, your sense of the value of it, and your thinking uh, and thoughts to whatever degree you need to have while you're involved in that. So the mindfulness involves all these different functions of yourself, the, uh, the body, the mood, emotion, and also your, uh, your thinking. And part of the process of occasionally asking yourself the question, am I here or am I away, can be very general. Uh, you just generally ask the question, am I here or am I away? You might be mostly here, in which case you, you check in what way there are preoccupations or things going on that um, take you away, so that uh, take you away from being completely and absolutely involved in what you're doing. But you can also be more specific in the way that you ask the question. And this perhaps is a, a nuance and a sensitivity, but it's very useful. And that is that you, you get the sense, first of all, of the body. Am I here in the body? So you start, in a way, getting a, a sense of how it feels to be completely here in your body, engaged with what you're doing. You know, the body sense of the whole thing that you're doing, the actual actions of what you're doing as well. Then you can ask the question here or away in terms of your emotional involvement and your mood. Have you got sort of emotional uh, themes chuntering in the background that have nothing to do with what you're actually doing. In which case, there's a process of clearing that and coming back. So you start to get the sense of what it actually feels like to be here emotionally uh, and in terms of your, your mood, your interest, your enthusiasm perhaps, your, your, your general sense of uh, well, determination even to do this. And then and the other, the third area of checking, am I here or am I away, is in relationship to thought. And this actually is probably one of the ones which is most nuanced because all kinds of thoughts and, and let's include fantasies in this can be going on in the deep background almost unawarely and part of this process of being mindful is developing the radar you could say to to sense and to, to spot those background preoccupations early and to clear them so that all of your uh, mental mind energy is involved in what you're doing. 
that in no way is it split and there's no kind of either conscious or unconscious multitasking going on while you're involved. So, having both the general question, am I here, am I away, is very, very helpful. It's a good starting point. And then when you become more familiar with that, being more specific ab about being here or away in relationship to the particular field of engagement or mindfulness that you're involved with.